This video shows you how to use a Casio graphic display calculator to perform the simplex method. This is the mark scheme for an exam question that I worked through in a previous video. And I'm going to start off with this simplex tableau here. So if you want to pause this video and copy that tableau down, you'll then know what's going on when I show you on the calculator. OK, so on the calculator, make sure obviously switch it on and from the menu you want the run matrices option or on some of the older ones they're separated, it's the, just the matrices option you want. If we then enter F1, that selects matrices and we want here to indicate, I'm actually going to delete that so I can show you from the start. So matrix A press execute and then M is the number of rows so we enter 3 and N is the number of columns and it's seven columns we want. And it gives us a blank matrix. What we now do is enter all our values. Well, we started off with P as 1, and it moves along the rows. We then had minus 1, 6, 0. For zeros, you can just move along. 2, 0 and then 16 at the end. We've got zero then, and then a half, so if we put point 0.5, then two, one, a half again, zero, and the value here is 4. 0 here, and then a half again. 1, 0, and then minus 1 and a half, 1, And nine. Okay, that's the completed matrix. What we then want to identify is on here, which is our pivot column. Well, if we work across, we can see there's only one value in the objective function row, which is negative. So the pivot column must be this one. Underneath it, we've got two values of a half. So if we work across to the totals, we've got here 4 divided by a half, which gives us 8, or 9 divided by a half, which gives us 18. So it's actually this row that will be the pivot row, and this is the pivot element. I usually leave it here. I find it easier to work if I leave this highlighted here. So the first thing we need to do is to change that to 1, and you can see we can achieve that by multiplying the pivot row by 2. In other words, dividing by the pivot element, which is a half. The handy thing about using the calculator is we can do this all in one row operation. And we do that by pressing F1, and it's times the whole row, so it's then F2. We're multiplying the whole row by 2. It doesn't divide, so we can't divide by a half, but multiplying by 2 gives us the same result, doesn't it? So that's the number we multiply by, and this is the row that we're multiplying, and it's the second row down, so we press 2 there. And then we can see that our pivot element is now 1. We now want zeros here, 
So you can see here that if we just add the pivot row, I'll show you the whole operation. Although we could do it with just row plus, I'm going to use the times row plus, which is the one we would normally use for these operations if the value wasn't one. So we do times row plus, which is F3. Multiplier first. Well, the multiplier is just one in this instance, isn't it? Because we just want to multiply by one times the pivot row to make that top value zero. The row we're multiplying by one is the pivot row, the second row, and the row that we're adding to is the first row. So that's what we put in there. And you can see now that we've changed that to zero. We now do a similar operation with the bottom row. What we need to do here is to multiply half the pivot row. In fact, it's what we need and then subtract it. Well, we can't subtract. But what we can do is we can add and multiply by minus a half. So if we multiply the pivot row by minus a half, that will give us minus a half here. If we add minus a half to a half, that gives us our zero. So again, it's that one, which is F3. Here we've got minus 0.5 as our K. It's the pivot row, the second row that we're multiplying by minus a half and then we're adding to the third row and then job done if you look across there now you should see that these values here are exactly the same as on the mark scheme with 24 at the top 8 5 you should now have these values here what I suggest you do is start here and see if you can enter these values and carry out simplex using the calculator to achieve these values here. And then you might want to perform the same as we've just done to see if you can get this, thereby using the calculator to quite quickly complete this 13 mark question. Bear in mind that you do need to write down the results at the end of each pivot. So you need to write your initial tableau, the tableau at the end of the first pivot, and the tableau at the end of the second and final pivot to gain all the marks.